for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Welcome to our series of videos on HTML5. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about HTML5 structure and some of the new semantic structural tags that uh, HTML5 gives us to work with. You can see here, I've actually created a page that has a pretty standard basic layout the way you would do it in HTML4. You'll see here I've got a div to contain the header content, another div to contain the navigation. That might be a, a top navigation bar, maybe it's a left-hand navigation bar. Another div for the main content, and then a final div for the footer information. And you're going to see again in HTML4, each one of these different items is called out with a div tag. And then we ID them as what they are. In this case, header, nav, so on and so forth. But I could just as easily have named these something else. For instance, the navigation area. I could have ID'd it as nav. I could have ID'd it as top nav, left nav, bottom nav page nav, navigation. There's nothing in this ID that tells a browser or a search engine or somebody using a screen reader that this is navigation. This is just arbitrary information to a browser. Now, HTML5 makes a big step forward in the fact that it gives us structural elements like divs that have semantic meaning to them. Let's go ahead and take a look at those right now. I'm going to go ahead and switch over here to another page and you're going to see this kind of has the same basic structure. I've got my body section but instead of divs here I actually am using the new HTML tags. And the first HTML tag that you're going to see here is going to be the header tag. Now, if you're inside of Dreamweaver CS5, you can actually go to Adobe's website and download the HTML5 extension pack. And what that will do is it will give you all the coding tools that you need for HTML5. So be sure to do that before you start working with Dreamweaver. But you'll see here again, I've got my header section here. But instead of using just a generic div with an ID on it, I've gone ahead and used header. And now a browser will know anything that comes in between those two tags is going to be header material. The same thing with the new nav tag. Anything that I embed within these two tags, a browser, screen reader, or search engine is going to know that that's navigation of one kind or another. And then we also have a couple of other tags down here that I'm going to talk about in a little bit. But finally we have footer and that sort of goes along with the header tag right here. We know now that instead of creating a div and calling it footer with an ID tag, we can just use this new HTML5 tag footer and a browser, screen reader, or search engine will know any content that goes in there is actually footer material. Now two other tags in HTML5 that we have action, access to are the section tag and the article tag. Now the section tag is pretty much similar to a div tag. It's just your most generic content container inside of HTML5 other than of course div tags themselves. And what's meant to go in here is thematically grouped sets of items. You know, so you may have a main content section, or inside of the section tags, you may create a div for main content, and then you may create another div for secondary content. And then we also have the new article tag right here. The article tag is meant to hold a, an individual collection of content that's thematically related, like an article in a blog post, or a magazine, or a newspaper article. And then finally, we have the aside structural tag. 
And this is meant for asides or comments or side notes in your, um, in your document. So several new great semantic tags that we can use in addition to um, div tags. We have the header tag and the footer tag for heading and footing information. We also have the nav tag to hold navigation. And then the section article and a side tool that will allow us to group content by what either theme or by an article or by a side comment. In our next video, we're going to talk about some of the ways we can combine these semantic tags as well. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.